Here we are with the rising light welterweight contender, Josecita Lopez. You got a big fight coming up. Tell me about it. We got a big fight with uh, Jesse Vargas, a tough, good fighter. So uh, going in there 110 percent. So we're ready for it. Uh, you've been trained with uh, Joel Diaz. Uh, no, uh, my trainer Henry Ramirez. We've been training. Uh, we've been training for a while now. We're in great shape and just can't wait to get in there. Uh, you grew up uh, fighting right here in uh, Thompson Boxing. Did it give you enough experience, you think, to fight at the elite level? Yes, I got a lot of experience here in my backyard. I'm from Riverside. I've fought in Corona in Ontario for a lot of years. So this is definitely where, I, where my roots started from. What do you think your main advantage over Jesse Vargas? Um, experience is definitely one of them. But uh, I think I'm just an overall better fighter. I saw your last fight with uh, Mike Dallas Jr. and you were just too strong for him. Do you think it might be the case with Jesse Vargas? Um, I'm not focusing on the strength, but I think definitely our strength is uh, an advantage. But uh, we're just ready for whatever uh, Jesse Vargas brings to the table. I saw you fight uh, Edgar Santana in Miami like in 2008. Uh, did you think uh, you got a lost decision after you knocked him down twice? Did you think you lost that fight? In my heart, I didn't think I lost it, but that's in the past. That's made me stronger. That's made me the fighter that I am now. So I definitely uh, let go of that loss. And, uh, what did you learn from that uh, fight? <laughs> you gotta go in there, put everything in. You gotta go in there and try to try to get a very, very, very big win. And, and you know, gotta win most of the rounds. Every, every, I'm gonna go in there and try to win every round. Okay, the only other loss I saw was uh, to uh, Wes Ferguson. It was in Vegas. Uh, he was Mayweather's fighter, just like Jesse Vargas. And that fight, I didn't see it, but I read that it was controversial as well. Uh, are you worried about getting a bum decision in Vegas? Uh, I'm not too worried about that. You know, I, I trust the decision that the judges will make. And, you know, uh, I got to go in there and try to win every round. So. Uh, I gotta just go in there, win every single round that I can, and, and not leave it to the judges. Uh, uh, what, do, what are you and Henry working on specifically for this fight? Well, definitely our uh, our condition will be a lot better. We're gonna be in the best shape of our lives. Um, I'm already in tip-top shape, so overall we're gonna be better in everything faster, stronger, condition-wise, so definitely think we got a great advantage. How do you feel about fighting on the uh, opening telecast of this uh, HBO pay-per-view extravaganza? This will be probably, you will get exposed to more fans than you've been exposed in your other 20-some fights. Yeah, definitely. It's a lot of exposure, definitely a big, big card, big show, big event. Uh, besides that, I'm not too worried about that. I know, you know, it's a big event, but I'm fighting one guy, and that's all I'm worried about, just the guy that's in front of me. All right, so here it is from Jose Cito's mouth to your ears. Good luck.